it might be the last time I image with the Fuji X-T1 in a while because I've got a Canon 450D winging its way to me. Um, I picked that up for the princely sum of £39 and the reason I've done that is because my Fuji doesn't work with the ASI Air Pro that I've been loaned, kindly been loaned, uh, but the Canon will, so do Nikon and so do ZWO. So I'm going to hook all that up. I've also ordered a couple of cables as well to get it all working. Uh, so hopefully there'll be a bit of a change around with my rig over the next week and guiding will be getting going and I'll be plate solving in uh, with the SI Air app on my phone. That's the plan. But to send off the, the Fuji, I'm using my Elenance filter and I'm going to go after a nebula tonight because the last few times I've been imaging galaxies and I just fancy giving a nebula a go. So I've um, been on Stellarium and had a look at a few. So I'm either going to go for, I think I'm either going to go for the Elephant's Trunk or the Crescent Nebula or the Wizard, but I'll, I'll see. It could be something completely different. You never know how an imaging session is going to go. And um, yeah, I just, I just want to mention that I may sort of try and change the way I approach videos a little bit because I usually edit the hell out of my videos, like I'll, I'll record half an hour of footage and I'll just edit it over and over and over again until I'm only left with like four minutes, but having watched them back, it makes me look a little bit manic because of all the jump cuts, so I might just go for more of a kind of a natural approach and just sort of like not worry about the, the pauses and the the mess ups with what I say and just treat it as like a chat really and uh, not worry about the silences. So yeah, what what, what else to discuss really before I get going? Um, yeah, um, I've been trying the Stella Lyra Coma Correct, the photovisual one with my, with, well not mine, the loaned Stella Lyra F4 Imaging Newtonian and uh, I've not had much luck with it really, like for a start, the, f the one thing I don't like initially is that you have to have the coma corrector quite far out the focuser to actually reach focus. And that's very unlike my BARD MPCC, the multi-purpose coma corrector, which you just plug in the focuser with the T-ring. It's just set then. Uh, the second thing is I've been struggling with the back focus distance to get the, the stars kind of round and sharp in the corners. And I've tried, the back focus is said to be 75 millimetres plus or minus five millimetres and I've tried various things from 70 to 80 including 73, thanks Ziggy Friends for the heads up about that, that was one of the closer ones I must admit. Uh, I've tried 76, 77, 70, 75, 80 uh, but I'm not, I'm not happy with it so far so tonight I'm trying my Bada multi-purpose coma corrector and I'll be able to compare that and to see which is best and feed back to First Light Optics and I think that would be, that'd be good because anyone who's kind of thinking about buying an F4 may have a bit of a more insight into which coma corrector is going to best match it if I test out coma correctors and yay, yay or nay them. Uh, so yeah, so I think there's going to be, as well as trying to capture a nice image tonight, there's also a little bit of experimentation involved. But anyway, I'm as much as I'd like to continue chatting, I'm aware that I've only got about three hours of close to astronomical darkness this time of year. It doesn't fully get dark. Uh, so I'm going to crack on. I'm not sure, like I said, I'm not sure what I'm going after, but I'll be back in a moment to tell you and we'll see what I'm up to. Okay, so I, I settled on the elephant's trunk in the end, it's the first target I went to in fact, and it, it does clear my neighbour's house, which I was a little bit worried about. And um, I've tried to line up the camera I'm filming on with the with the direction of the, the telescope, so you can see the patch of sky that I'm imaging at the moment. So the elephant's trunk is actually in Cepheus, which is just above Cassiopeia, it's kind of northeast direction. And its designation, for anyone who wants to look it up, is IC1396. 
It's a star forming region as well as a mission nebula with lots of dust and gas and globules and the, the trunk, the elephant's trunk itself is quite a big globule. Now framing it on the camera it's a little bit of leap of faith when you're using a small screen on the back of a DSLR or a mirrorless camera because you've only got that three inch screen to go on and you're not on a big laptop and you, can, you can't really see as much of what's going on. I did zoom into the corners to have a look how the Barda Coma Corrector is doing. My initial thought is it's already doing better than the Stella Lyra, but I won't know for sure until I get that on the computer and have a closer look. Now I'm taking five minute exposures because I want to go quite deep and bring out as much of that dust and dark dust and gas as I can. Um, it seems to be tracking well unguided tonight, the, the Ioptron Gem 45, so I'm happy to leave it at five minutes unguided at 600mm focal length. It seems to be coping well with that. My tip to anyone sort of new to imaging, looking to sort of frame an object that they want to image, is to boost up that ISO. Um, what I did here is I boosted up to ISO 6400, just so I could make sure I had the target in the centre of the screen basically but when I went back down to ISO 800 which is what I'm going to shoot at because the lower the ISO the better your dynamic range even on a five minute exposure you can't really see much ISO but and you can't really see much nebulae I mean but I trust that it's there because I took that first framing shot at a very high ISO uh, so yeah what I'm going to do is leave it to it and uh, go in, have a cider, and uh, show you the nice picture at the end, hopefully, that's the plan. Uh, big thank you, as always, to my channel members, Dan the Man, Four Grapples, and Ziggy Friends. Really appreciate your support. Thanks for everyone else watching also. Really means a lot that you can join me tonight and see what I'm up to. But yeah, another two hours of astronomical darkness to go, and I'll catch you later.